Good afternoon and welcome to another collective worship video. It's good to be with you again this afternoon on what is actually a special day in the church calendar. So before we begin, we're going to light our candle as we usually do. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Lord, you are our lamp. You turn our night into day. Guide us and shine your light on our daily path. Well done. So I wonder if you know what day it is today in the church calendar. Perhaps the smoke from my match might have given you an idea. Perhaps you can remember from last year. Well, I've got a word for you, which is a bit of a clue. I don't know if you can see that word. That word might give you a bit of a clue. It might not. It might just make you feel a bit more confused. But there we go. I wonder what that word might mean. I wonder what that word might mean. I wonder where we can find some clues. Perhaps we can find some clues in a Bible reading. So we're thinking about the time that we're in. We've had Easter. Probably it already seems that Easter was quite a long time ago. And we've had lots of time since then. And in the time after Easter, after Jesus first appeared as the risen Christ, first appeared to his disciples, he appeared to them many more times and spent time with them and spoke to them. So I'm going to read you a Bible reading about that now. After his suffering, Jesus presented himself to the disciples and gave them many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this instruction. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. He said to them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. So today is known as Ascension Day because it is the day when we commemorate Jesus returning to God the Father in heaven. He died on the cross on Good Friday, he rose from the dead on Easter Sunday, that's when we celebrate that. And then for a period of 40 days, he continued appearing to his disciples, talking to them, teaching them, helping them to understand what was going on. And then 40 days later, as we just heard in that Bible reading, he disappeared from sight went into the clouds, disappeared from them, and they never saw him again after that. And this day in the church calendar is known as Ascension Day. So it occurs 40 days after Easter Sunday and is always the Thursday of the sixth week after Easter. Imagine that, we're already six weeks after Easter. Before he left them, Jesus gave the disciples some special instructions to go and tell the whole world about him and the good news of the gospel. He passed on the work that he had come to do to his good friends, the disciples. But he promised them that they wouldn't have to do this job on their own, that he would send them a helper and that they were to wait in Jerusalem for this gift. I wonder if you can think who that helper or what that helper might be. We know that Jesus is God's son. We know that he's gone back into heaven to be with God the Father. So who might that helper be? He gave them this instruction. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. That brings me back to my funny word. I wonder if any of you spotted what that funny word is. It's actually this word backwards and this word says Christmas. So my funny word that I showed you at the beginning is Christmas written backwards. And that 
that's really what we're talking about with Ascension Day. At Christmas, we celebrate that Jesus brought God's nature with him to earth when he was born as a human child, just like you, just like me. And then at the Ascension, when Jesus goes back to heaven, he takes that human nature of ours with him. So that within God, God the Father and God the Son, there is the understanding, the fullness of what it means to be human. I hope that's interesting. One of the things that I'm sharing with you with this video is a link to some activities that you can do. There's some colouring, there's some things you can make, there's some word searches, there's some other ways of getting into the story of the Ascension. So hopefully you can have a look at that little pack online and perhaps your mum and dad can help you with some of those activities if you want to join in with them. They're a bit of fun, they're not really school activities, they're just a bit of fun. The sort of thing that we would normally do at Messy Church, so if you're a Messy Church family and you're watching, do look at the uh, Kids Club pack that's attached which has some of those activities in it. So we're going to say a prayer now, I'm going to pray a prayer for Ascension. And, and then we're going to go back and think about our song that we were learning. So the prayer goes like this. Let's pray. God of light and life, we know that your son Jesus is with us always. But we know too that he is with you. May we show your love and care for others in all that we do so that we may spread your good news. Amen. Amen. So we've been learning a song. Can you remember? We, we learned the first verse, and then last time I taught you the next verse, and today there's a third verse that I can teach you. So the first verse goes like this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and all your mind and all your soul, and love all humankind as you would love yourself, and... That was the first verse, remember that? Then we learned the second verse, which goes, love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and love all humankind and... And hopefully you've, if you've been practicing that at home, you have begun to see how we can put those two together. So we might sing, <coughs> if you're ready, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and love all humankind as you would love yourself and love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and love all humankind and that's how the two go together and then there's a third verse and it goes like this we've got Christian lives to live we've got Christian love to give, we have nothing to hide because in him we abide. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? We've got Christian lives to live, we've got Christian love to give, we have nothing to hide because in him we abide. There's nothing to hide because we're, we're so tight with Jesus. We've got Christian lives to live, we've got Christian love to give, we have nothing to hide because in him we abide. So, you can put all three together, or if there's more than one of you at home who's learning the song along with me, you can try and sing the different parts over each other as a round. And one day, when we all get to be back together again at school, we can hopefully put it all together and sing it all together as well. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed collective worship with me this afternoon. I hope you enjoy the activities in the pack that I'm sending out with this video. And I hope that you enjoy your weekend together and half term, which is coming this week. So, God bless you. Go in peace. Go in kindness. Go in love.